Hello everyone, got a few things for you today. As you can see, I'm in some kind of Star Trek uniform. Um, that's not actually the case. Uh, this is a Becca Coolware garment, which uh, they're quite well known throughout the motor vlogging community, as far as I'm aware. Um, what the idea is, these keep you nice and dry uh, in the hot weather, and also they keep you warm in the cold weather. Um, there's plenty of reviews on YouTube for these. Uh, just search for Becca Coolware review. Uh, there's other motor vloggers that have reviewed them. I'll put the spelling up on the screen so you can uh, have a look for that. I'll do my own review once I get to uh, go out on the road and test uh, test this, see what it's like. I'm sure I won't be disappointed. Just sitting in it seems quite comfortable and yeah, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing the bike safe thing in a few weeks time so I'll, and that's an all day thing so I'll probably want to wear it for that. So. Uh, We'll see how it goes. These are made by the old fart on a motorbike, if you don't know. Uh, that's Jim Payne on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel in the description, uh, which you'll also need for the next subject, which is stickers. I've got a pile of stickers. Some Phil 480 stickers. Here we go. Have a look. They've turned out really well. I'm really impressed with them. Uh, it's got the design on there that I wanted, and obviously I've also got the, uh, the Facebook and YouTube links on there. So yeah, I am pretty chuffed with these and uh, they they were a good price. So thanks very much again to Jim Payne, the old fire on a motorbike, for sorting these out for me. Um, because uh, he's where he works, there's a department that does all design and, well, they can make stickers, basically. Uh, that's all we need to know. So um, if you want stickers doing, uh, get in touch with Jim Payne and uh, he should be able to sort some out for you. Uh, so yeah, all you need to do, what I did, is uh, send him the JPEG image of the design you want and the, the size of the actual sticker and uh, he'll uh, let you know how much that will cost and the prices are really good, you, you, I don't think you'll find anywhere cheaper to be honest and uh, the quality of the stickers do seem really good as well so um, if you want a sticker of mine then leave me a private message uh, with your address and I'll get one sent out in the post to you and of course if you don't know already I've started a collection on that board behind me which in fact let's show you I've got various stickers on here which uh, I hope to fill this board up really soon so if you've got uh, stickers and you're not already on here let me know and uh, I'll send you my address uh, or if you want a sticker of mine and you're going to send me one, I'll send an envelope with mine so you can just uh, pop a stamp on it and return it to me. Uh, so yeah, we've got uh, Jim Payne's sticker there, Skeggy Cruiser, that's mine obviously, uh, Calm Biker, I did these in a video not too long ago. And then we've got, uh, from Australia, we've got uh, O2 Big Kev and Bandit Nev, so they're on there. So yeah, it's looking a bit empty at the minute, so uh, if you've got stickers you can send me, let me know. Now these I've not actually stuck on properly, I've just used some uh, spray adhesive just so, until I can decide for definite how I want them. So yeah, if you want a sticker, they are of course free of charge. Uh, like I said, drop me a message either on YouTube or Facebook, the links are in the description. By the way, if, yeah, if you don't know already, I've got a Facebook page set up, facebook.com forward slash phil480, same as the YouTube URL. So yeah, give us a like on there, and uh, yeah, send us a message either way, and I'll get them sent out to you if you want some stickers. One last thing, my replacement drift microphone turned up the other day, and unfortunately it's still making the same noise as the one that I thought was faulty, so I think it's just how they are. Um, speaking to the Northern Vlogger who's having the same problems, he's come to the conclusion that it is hardware related. Some people, can't, some people can hear it, some people can't, and it seems to be down to what device they're listening to the video on, which is a bit, sounds a bit strange to me, but it's, I guess it's possible. So people listening on, say, uh, an Apple computer might not hear it, whereas people on a Windows computer might hear it, and then of course Windows computers, there's that many different types of hardware manufacturer. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit hit and miss as to who and uh, who can hear it and who can't so I'm just going to uh, put up with it for now and I have found that with the editing software that I use uh, in the audio settings I can actually put a noise reduction feature on there and that actually works quite well so I'm just going to do that from now on uh, that'll be a suitable workaround for me uh, the other thing I could do I suppose is go out and just get another microphone just see if it does the same thing or not so um, I'll do I'll probably end up doing that if I uh, happen to come across a cheapo uh, microphone which is what I was using before and that worked perfectly fine if not better than this uh, proper drift one so 
Anyway, we'll see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime, ride safe everybody, and I'll speak to you again soon.